All right, let's look at a way to use AutoCraft to generate birthday cards, uh, digital birthday cards automatically. So uh, here I have a, a, a folder that I keep like these, this template and stuff like that, but I also have a folder in here called happy birthday. This is where all the PDF birthday cards are going to be stored and then sent out to students. All right, so go ahead and make a copy of the template and I'll put that link in the comment section. All right, and I've already done that. And this is what it looks like. Basically, uh, you're going to put your students' date of births, all right, run that, run a report from your grading program or attendance program, whatever it is. Um, don't edit columns B or E. All right, put your students' first names and their email addresses. You also need to generate a birthday card and use Google Slides. Use a text box, and within that text box, just make sure you make some merge tags, which are less than, less than. And I use just the word first name and then greater than, greater than. That's where we're going to put uh, the student's name for this birthday card, and then just bedazzle it however you see fit, okay? On the spreadsheet, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of compare the month and day of, this, of the birthday for the student to the month and day of today, all right? And when those are the same, we're going to say yes. And when this column says yes, that's going to be the trigger to say send a birthday card, all right? Uh, some, something before we get started, you do uh, this today function that we're going to be using has to be generated in the background. So under file, go down to public, uh, go down to spreadsheet settings. And under calculation, you want this today function to be running uh, every hour is fine. All right. Uh, now to get started, we're going to go up to add-ons and we're going to use Autocrat. If you don't have it, go down to get add-ons and install it. I'm going to hit launch. We want to generate this job and then we will run it uh, after it's already created. Um, and like I said, it's gonna run off that trigger of whenever that birthday column says yes. So I'm actually gonna delete this one. It's one I had from before and we'll just kind of start all over here from scratch. All right, so I'm gonna click on new job. And let's call this happy birthday. That's fine. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to hit next. And it's saying what template tool you want to use. Remember, we have that Google slide presentation. So just find it from your Google Drive. I've used it recently, so I'm just going to hit use. And right now, it's fetching the tags. So it's saying, hey, I looked at the, that um, birthday card you created, and I found a tag that says first name. Um, what, what does that align to in your spreadsheet? And down here, I have two sheets here, one called birthdays, one called today. We want the one called birthdays, and that maps to the column. And it actually does this automatically for you. It says, hey, you know what? We found a column called first names, and we think that's a pretty good match. So let's use that. So I'm going to hit next. The file name, let's call this happy birthday. And you can use these merge, uh, any kind of data you have in your spreadsheet, you can use uh, to help create these file names. So if I click on first name, it puts those merge tags into my clipboard, and I can hit Control V. So now it'll say, happy birthday, Dan, happy birthday, Chris, whenever it generates these files. I prefer to generate a PDF. I don't need one of the kids like working through and editing that. It just looks cleaner if it's a PDF. And we're going to keep this as multiple output mode. Where do I want these stored? Once it creates these PDFs, where do I want them kept? Well, let's go to pick a folder. And remember, I had you create that folder called happy birthday. Let's go ahead and use that folder to store all of these PDFs. So if you have 130 kids, it's going to create 130 PDFs throughout the year, and that's where it'll store them. I don't any, need this. Um, do we have a merge condition? The answer is yes, we do. We want this to merge whenever our birthday column says the word yes. All right. And do we want to share this? Of course we do. We want to share it as PDF, and we want to share it to the student's email addresses. So go ahead and click on this, paste it with Control V, and in the subject line, we could say something like happy birthday. And if you want to put their name there, go ahead and put that merge tag is there as well. And you don't have to put anything in the body. You can, but maybe I'll just write happy birthday. Throw a couple exclamation points on there. Right, let's go ahead and hit next. This isn't a Google form, so we're not going to run this trigger, but this is on a time trigger. We do want this to run every, you can pick every 12 hours or every 24 hours. Uh, if, if you do every 24 hours, it'll run from the time you start the job. So if it's early in the morning, just pick 24 hours. If it's kind of in the afternoon and you want the kids to get the card in the morning, pick every 12 hours. 
uh, it won't regenerate a new card once it's already generated one of them. Go ahead and hit save. And I use the email address. Um, it's not my birthday today, but the email address in here I do have is dan at scmath.org. So what we'll do is we'll run this job after we save it and we'll see if it generates a card. All right, and this was the job that was just generated. I'm going to go ahead and hit play or run the job. And uh, you'll see some columns being generated in the background and some files being added. Um, there's actually another sheet that's being created that you can't even see. Um, but once this is done, it's only going to merge one row. And let's once this is finished, let's jump into my email and see if I got it. Yep, see there are the files that are created for this birthday. So let's jump into my email and let's refresh this. All right, and there's my birthday. Remember, happy birthday, there's a bunch of exclamation points, and here's the card. It looks something like this. All right, good luck.